Good evening! Hello everyone! This is Lisa from Local King Robert's Dam. So, I just decided to do a last minute uh, live stream. It has been a busy week for me. And uh, hi Chow, how are you? So, that's working on the last slide, um, sliding card. Hi, Kim. So, I have been busy and uh, I was mentioning in my last video. Hi, Susie. I was, uh, I was mentioning in my last video, I was uh, excited to find a new hobby. And uh, hi, Everett. No, wasn't planning to do any live stream today. I'm just... Uh, Got busy and I think I had a bit of do it because I have something to mention in my video about uh, Sunday's Play with Lisa by using the butterfly kisses. So I think I had a bit of do just one more video before um uh, before Sunday. So I was mentioning in my video, um, I got a new hobby and I was uh, working on the um, digital planner. So I have learned most of the stuff that I need and uh, I actually create a prototype and they, everything is work. So now I'm ready to create my own digital planner and I've been promised you once when my digital planner, planner is created, I will post on the local kids website and I will just share this digital planner with you guys. It's going to be awesome if you have any tablet, it's a PDF file, you can just download to your digital planner. You only have to have a good notes file and then you can download this digital planner and then you can use it as a digital planner. So it's kind of very interesting and I'm so in love with it. So for the past three days, I was actually working, learning. It's amazing that you can learn most of the everything online. So I have learned the skill that I need to be able to create this digital planner and then now just a little bit practice and then I think it's going to happen and then later on I will add more pages and I will provide some free digital stickers. It's going to be awesome. So that's my new hobby and I enjoy it a lot. It's actually keep me busy and uh, if you're new to the digital planner, you can do a little bit of research on the YouTube. There is uh, a lot of information. It's very interesting. You know, now I think a lot of uh, people um, move to the digital. So I'm not ready yet, but I'm just uh, into those. So um, that's what I've been doing for the past uh, few days. Okay, so today we are going to working on our last sliding car. It's like this. I'm going to show you how to create this cool um, background by, by using the stencil. So that's the one. And then if you didn't get a chance to take a look at my other, uh, the other sliding car, make sure you check uh, the YouTube channel or Local King Online Video Library. And then in the end of this video, I'm going to choose two winners. The one, the first winner will get the, the last tap die set I have. I thought I have a lot in the inventory, but I didn't actually, it's not available. And I have one more last tap set to give away. And then um, the second winner will be get this car. So I already sent the, the car, the first car, every won this one and no, yeah, I already won this one and then Darling won this one. So who is going to be the lucky winner for this card today? So let's take a close look. So this is going to be the card and then have a hummingbird fly in and out this jar. Oop, this is a kind of stuck there. In and out like the jar. So I think it's a pretty cute. Okay, so that's the start. Today's video is going to be a very quick one I hope so wasn't planning to do a live stream today so if you I think now it's six o'clock for most of you guys you probably are in the east time and uh, almost time to go to the bed but if, uh, if you are not ready to go to the bed yet want to do some crafting welcome to join me so I'm going to do a little bit coloring and then because today's uh, car project is not really complicated 
Okay, so let me just switch my camera. So that's going to be Lise. <laughs> so how's everybody doing today? Good, good. Today is actually sun, sunny day in Vancouver. Okay, let's do, let's do this one thing that I will do. Okay, and then make sure. So, um, if you, if we get a disturbed signal, um, just make sure you, um, flash your uh, browser. Um, it should be work just fine because last week, last video, I had some, um, connection issue. And after I refresh my, um, website and everything works good. And then in the end of this uh, video, I'm going to choose two more winner and the, um, I read some of the live chat after after my last video and some of you guys who was complaining how come you already see the um, the chatting and then uh, you already see the answer before you can respond for the pricing. You got to make sure that you set up your um, um, chat, live chat. So that way it's going to keep you update. Otherwise it's going to be have a, like a few delay. So you probably lost that few seconds and then you lost the chance to winning the two prizes. Okay, raining here in Georgia. Okay. Yeah, so ever have you checked the vendor list? I was kind of surprised because uh, I thought because it's going to be like a fully capacity, but uh, a lot of the big vendors, they are not signed off for the show. I don't know what's going on. I cannot go because the the border is still closed. But for the American vendors, like uh, there's a lot of big vendors, uh, they are not on the list. So what's going on? Yeah. So well, that's just hoping everything come back to normal. Okay. So I'm using this uh, lane and the sea and the garden of life for the past uh, few sliding car. And then on Sunday, we are going to have a 20 plus 10 person promotion to celebrate local kings, the 5,000th um, YouTube subscription. I will choose the uh, two winners first. And then the two weeks later, I'm going to choose the other two winners. You guys are going to get a $50 local kings gift certificate. I'm giving a four, Give certificate away. So we're going to do two and two. And then, so in the video, we are going to do the live stream. So feel free to join me. I know a lot of you guys have purchased the butterfly kisses the combo set already. And I already posted all the material lists uh, on the website. So make sure you check it out. But I think I'm going to move the project one after each other. So it's kind of because I don't want to drag the video too long. So if you miss some of the detail, just make sure you watch the replay. Okay, so in that video, I will provide the, um, so on Sunday, we're going to do the 20% off for the whole store. And then in the video, you are going to get the other 10% off coupon code for 48 hours only. So you will get a 30% off uh, total for or uh, celebration for the local Kings YouTube um, 5,000 YouTube subscription. So working on your shopping list is going to be awesome. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to purchase the 2021's new design, I think uh, it's a good time because all the 2021's new design, the new die cut have a double die cut. And then today's video, I'm going to show you one more uh, way how to use that double die. In my last video, I was sure with you, you can use that outline die to kind of add a support to support your detail die. So that's a one way. And then you can do the layering. You can do a lot of things with that double die. Okay, so this is going to be a project I'm going to work. And make sure you check the Local Kings Online video library. A lot of uh, uh, video ready to go. And then it is a good idea to make a prototype um, first. I do that all the time. Okay, so I have my paper here ready. And uh, we're going to do some coloring first. I have uh, my... Stamp here, so we're going to color all together and the die cut together too. So let's do these. Okay, so 
For this one, I don't really need a jar. My jar is just a piece of acetate and the, the mirror paper for the outline. And then in my last video, I already shared with you a great tips how to die cut the acetate. Because acetate is kind of, you know, stubborn. It's hard to cut through the uh, acetate. So, but in the, my video, I already shared with you. So I'm gonna use the uh, those those uh, dog glossy cardstock, and then I'm gonna use uh, just a marker. You can use any kind of water-based markers, okay? And uh, for the where is my eraser? Can't find an eraser here. Must be okay. Can I find my eraser? So I'm going to just use my hand, kind of um robbing the robbers, so that way they will ink better okay so that's a start of coloring i'm going to have my okay here and then we are going to do very very light color for my okay here okay light color and then add a little bit darker colors so any water-based marker will work and uh, the own, the things that you just got to make sure you color everywhere any you anything you like and then remember this is the shadow stamp shadow stamp you color directly on the stamp detail stamp you color on the paper and then we can blending a little bit i really forget about the uh which video i was talking about the the coloring so just color yeah so let's do these okay there was a show last week that was uh, west springfield heirloom i don't know has anybody went to that show i really want to go if uh, if the board is open that's one of the show i will go anybody went to that show is it good okay so it's just a color 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 Let's see, let me see if we can... No, on the rice leg stamp, we don't use the markers because the stamp is really detailed. Um, if you use the markers, it's going to show the stroke. So rice leg, I will use the uh, magic mushroom, blair, black image. So just check the website. There's a lot of a video show you how to use uh, those kind of um, detail stamp. So for the shadow stamp, the best way is uh, just uh, coloring with some markers. And then join us on Sunday. Uh, who is this? Uh, uh, Chardon, Chardon Zero. So join us on Sunday because on Sunday I am going to use the uh, um, butterfly cases to show too many different kind of technique by using the that combo set okay so that's the first one and then you don't have to have uh, anything see the white color okay just make sure the foundation color if you have a stamp positioner good for you use that if you don't have a stamp positioner um, just make sure you ink your stamp well make sure everywhere is nicely inked and then i use this dog glossy you can if you use regular cars regular cars that you definitely need to use the stamp positioner if you don't have a stamp positioner positioner watch the video number 43 uh, in that video i share with you how to use the cd case to make your own so this is my chucky it worked very well if you like to see how i make this one just check the website for the video. It definitely worked. And I just received some other stuff I ordered. I'm going to make the other chucky. Okay, so that's it. That's what it looks like. Look how pretty it is, the color. Oops. The paper does make a difference. Let me just move this one. Yeah, Susie, I think you will like to, you, you will enjoy to go one. I know the next one, the expo one will be Chicago uh where is the location don't remember where they're going to where's the location in chicago but i really don't know i thought everybody can't wait to jump back to do the show but uh, i checked the, the list a lot of uh, big vendors is not uh, it's not it's not on the list what's going on yeah so that's two of hummingbird here and then if you want me to create a little bit more video about the how to use the 
uh, markers to do the blending? Leave me a comment, let me know. So let's do these. So I just do very quickly coloring. Let's do uh, the butterfly. And then you can blending. But remember your foundation color is very important. Foundation color, you just make sure you color everywhere. Okay. So light medium color. And then you can use any water uh, based markers. They will work just fine. So, and then uh, do a little bit. Chambert, yes, Chambert. Yeah. So, but I really think it's going to take a while everything come back to normal because I was kind of feel surprised that um, the Georgia is the, it should have a lot of vendors. Okay. So this is the how I coloring. Let's take a look. Okay. You don't have to have, you don't have to do anything. So I am going to just, uh, the small uh, stamp image, you don't really, you don't have to use your chucky. So, but the large image, look how beautiful it is. The magic is not the marker. It's not the marker, it's a stamp. Because at least kind of stamp, we call the shadow stamp, is a reverse image. So, I am so excited about the, the digital planner, those kind of digital sticker. And I was looking for my um, collection. I have uh, almost uh, 500 set of a rubber stamp and I think I had at least two, 3,000 image. Can you imagine to turn those image to the digital um, stickers? Um, I think that's everything is uh, it's going to turn to the digital soon and uh, I think that's uh, just uh, something but don't worry about it I will still keep my rubber stain company running okay so because our die cut is really detailed you got to make sure you have a guiding window otherwise you are going to have a very hard time to line out your image so I just uh, create this guiding window and I use it again again Okay, make sure when you put it back, that's the place, the right place. And then you can just stamp all your image and then just uh, cut it together. So that's how I save my time. And then once when you create your guiding windows, you can use your guiding window again and again. Again and again. So I am going to show you something. I already created a prototype for my digital planner. It's actually unique. In my um, coming videos, I will... Did that person say it? Sure, yeah. I think uh, ever I actually have a video. So go to the local King online video library. I actually already show uh, my craft room. Oh, you want to see the process of designing? Sure, next time. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to run to the machine, die cut it. Okay, so that's uh, just, uh, give me a second. I will be right back. Okay. I know, so you know now everything is just a digital. Uh, I saw when I was uh, doing the research to, to design my digital planner, I saw there was a program. It's only ten ninety nine, and uh, they you can use that program to do anything. For example, you want to do the watercolor, you don't need to really have a watercolor anymore. You want to do the oil painting, sketching. You don't even need to have a color pencil. And then just changing your, um, the, you know, the pen. And then that's amazing, right? Well, I don't know, is that good or bad? Is the, is it just, uh, you know, it's just uh, like, a, you have to, it's just uh, everything is just turned to the digital now, you know? Few years ago, can like a, can you imagine a YouTuber can be a career? And then there's a lot of a successful YouTuber. They actually make a very good uh, uh, money to to survive. To 
it's better than you, you know, working nine to five. It's actually a job, you know. But before they say, what do you, what, 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 what do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber. People will think, what, what is a YouTuber? Okay, so that's uh, what's it look like. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, what's it look like, and then I'm going to just uh, use uh, my magic mushroom, give it a little bit shading. The local king's die cut is already right to the 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 image already, right? But it still have a little bit white spot. Um, we just kind of soft a little bit, and then can you imagine a die cut with a big white gap? So that's a. Uh, that's a, uh, sometimes it, those kind of white gap is just a, a little bit too annoying, right? So because of this year, 2021's new design, they, the die cut, they all come with the double die. So this is the, what's the die cut look like? This is hummingbird, right? It doesn't have an outline. Is it right? The die cut is right next to image. But you probably say, hey, Lisa, I like to have that outline. There you go. So you just use uh, that. The outline die cut, there you go. That's your outline. So the outline die cut, if you, like this is layering, you don't want to have a layering when you die cut it, you just, uh, let's just show you one more time. We just uh, cut it directly on top. So that give you option. You can choose you want to have that outline and then you don't want to have a, you don't want to have that outline. So let's just uh, use this one, show you what it look like. Okay. So just a fastly, fast uh, coloring, my little hummingbird. You don't really need to working on the detail. It's going to look awesome no matter what you do because uh, the stamps really have a magic. Okay, so let's do the... I'm going to just uh, read it, the chart later because uh, sometimes kind of like my brain can do like one thing at a time. Okay. So here is the, this is our detail die, okay? So when you use the detail die, you cut like that. But like I say, 2021's new design have a double die. So we have at least a outline die. You can die cut it, use it as a layering like that, or you can just put your outline die cut here, okay? So most of the company, their die cut is like that. They don't have any detail between and they have a big gap be between your uh, stamp image and the die cut line. That's why you don't need a guiding window. You can put your die cut on top and then they will cut it out. But uh, because I want um, Local King's die cut right next to the image. So that's why if you want to use those detail die, you got to make sure which one you like best. Which one you guys like best? Don't you love this one, right? next to uh, the, the cutting line, but you have a choice. If you want to have this one, you can just uh, cut in the other one in the mounting on the back. So that gives you the option. And then that's all the 2021's new die cut, they all have these. And then in the future, when I have a new die cut, they will all have a double die, unless I don't have enough room. Like at least a flower in the jar, this flower, I don't have enough room for the double die. Okay, so let's move to next and be careful those small die, always put it back because I kind of lost one of my jellyfish. Don't know where did he swing. So always put your die cut guiding window back. And then in my video, I was mentioning if you worry about your die cut get damaged, what do you do is that you have a piece of cardstock, seal with a packing tape, and then die cut it. And then so this one, they will last forever because you have that packing tape to protect your die cut. So a lot of uh, uh, great tip in my tips in my video. So just make sure to check it out. Um, some of the old video is still pretty good. A lot of information, 
Okay, that's two. Okay, so let's move to the next. Let me just clean here a little bit. Okay, so let's move to the next. We are going to working on the background. So in my last few uh, video, I was uh, share with you guys uh, how to use the uh, the background stamp, but this one, because my flower is already really complicated, uh, so I don't want to have the other very complicated image. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to use the st stencils and then I couldn't find my vinyl stencil for a long time. They've been disappeared for a long time. And then I got this one from the craft show a while ago. And uh, they are paper, but they're actually not bad. So I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, just one of them. So those the paper one is actually I think is pretty good. But uh, I'm just wondering where, where where's my old my stand? So I have like probably fifteen put somewhere and can't find it. That's bad. Okay, and then we're going to use the just uh, uh, masking tape, and this is just a masking tape, and nothing fancy. Okay, so you if you have a brayer, you can use a brayer. If you have a blending brush, you can use a blending brush. You can use a sponge. You can use any tool that you have handy. They will work just fine. So I am going to just uh, use the Local King's uh, Magic Mushroom and uh, I have uh, those uh, little cutie magic mushroom here. Good. Those are my little magic mushroom and then look the color is just so pretty. And uh, I have the one here that I use all the time. Those are magic mushroom I've been using for almost two years and then they are still in the perfect shape. And then just remember if you have a set of these magic mushrooms, they need to be um, moisture. So don't wash them, but uh, just spray with uh, mist with the water. You know, I love you guys made a friend through my channel. Everybody is like, a... Ooh, I found my eraser now. Sorry, drop something. Okay, so they kind of need to mist uh, some enough water, and especially if you have uh, never used your magic mushroom, you really have to give uh, enough water. And I create a video um show you the magic mushroom 101. If you want to use your magic mushroom and if you have a problem to use those magic mushroom, make sure you watch that video, Magic Mushroom 101, a lot of information. And then for the one of you guys was asking about the rice lake, the rice lake, I will use the magic mushroom to color that. Okay, so that's uh, do a little bit blending and then remember when you use a stencil, if you have a brush, I have all the blending tool you can ask for everything if you have a brush when you use the stencil they kind of usually will push your stencil away magic mushroom is the awesome tool to to do the stencil because we are actually tapping so i am going to do why should i change the other color tone you know what let's try let's try kind of Purple, pur pur purplish color. So let's have a few different colors. Let's try something different, right? Don't like the exactly the same thing. So, you know, um, some of you guys mentioning, um, you guys want to learn a little bit more about the coloring, like the color wheel. So let me working on some, um, video see what is the best way to explaining about the color so that's do green blue and uh, purple. purple so when you choose the color you just got to make sure you have a light medium and the darker color okay I think uh, that will work so I'm gonna start with the uh, 
I don't know, maybe it end out ugly. No worry, Michelle. So just make sure your mushroom got to have some moisture and then um, I don't even bother to clean it. I think uh, that's okay. And then I'm going to just uh, pick up a little bit green. I think that's good. Okay, rubbing it. And then from the middle, I'm going to just uh, draw a circle. Okay, so in the middle part, you're going to hit hard. Okay, and then kind of release the pressure a little bit. So that's good enough. And then we are going to do the blue. We just want to color the background. I, I don't want to spend too much time to working on my background. So let's do this. I think that's good. I am not uh, planning to clean my magic mushroom. Gentle, start from one corner. Okay, you can draw in the circle and we're going to tap in too. So going to re-ink your magic mushroom, kind of blending your color on your paper. Okay, just gently blending. You know, those magic mushroom is awesome tool, but any tools you got to learn how to work. You can totally do the blending, but you got to get used to get knowing about uh, your tool. Tool is a tool. You, we need to operate her to operate those tool, right? So they can blending and I have been showing you in my video too many times. I am not going to sell in the product that doesn't work. You, it got to work. But now you guys, you have to learn how to um, use uh, those uh, tool, right? So pick up your, um, pick up the color, start from the corner. Okay. The corner, you do a little bit harder and then you kind of slowly bring to the center. Always start with the light color. If it's not enough, we add more. Okay. This corner again. Okay. And then remember any artwork, you want your artwork looks good. It need the time to build out. Okay. You need to find the basic color. Like I want a darker, rich purple blue. You cannot just go ahead with a very, very darker blue. You got to use a light blue and then you add a little bit purple and then you add a little bit more auto marine. You add slowly. That's how um, your artwork could, um, become more like a rich and the solid. If you only have a one color, very, very thin color, that's what you get. Very, very thin. Okay. So yeah, practice is a good, I like to become a musician, but uh, you got to practice your piano without the practice. You can't play a song, right? Like uh, I am, um, I want to design a digital planner. You have no idea how much time I spending on the computer, do the research and the learning and practice sometime. Like yesterday I was uh, having some issue. Like uh, I create a digital book, but uh, my link only working for the first few pages and then the rest of them, it doesn't link. That drive me crazy. But, uh, I'm glad today after a good night's sleep and I figured out. So, Really exciting my digital planner. So can you imagine all the local kings image uh, and then it's going to end up to a digital sticker. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now I have my purple. I'm going to show you how pretty once when you blending the two color, you start to adding, see this corner and this corner. Okay, and then again, start from the really corner slowly bringing, learning is good. And then, you know, now you can learn everything from the, from the internet baking. Well, but the baking, that's don't go over there. I follow everything, try to make the cheesecake. I don't know why my cheesecake is always end out to, to like a, they don't puffy. They don't do the jiggly part. They supposed to be jiggly cheesecake. But when they were, they were hot, the cheesecake is jiggly. As soon as when they are getting cold, they clap. 
Okay, so now look at how pretty this color. So those magic motion is awesome to do the blending. And then if you want to even darker color, we can do a little bit darker color. Okay, now I want to add a little bit darker green in my middle. I don't have a very pretty green, but I am going to actually add a little bit yellow first. And then I am going to use this uh, maybe rubber necklace uh, green. So that's too lit. So I'm going to use the yellow. Okay. And then from the middle, I want to in the middle, I'm going to push hard. You know, every time when you add a color, it has the purpose. You know, when you add this blue, so not blue, this yellow and the yellow and the red. Sorry, yellow and the green, what's wrong with me? I'm sorry. Hey, are you guys listening? Okay, yellow and the green. So I add the yellow on my green. See, my green is become kind of like an olive green. Okay, and I want my blue and the green, like a very, like a, they, they, they connect to each other. So I'm slowly bringing up uh, bringing those yellow connect with my blue okay just slowly drawing a circle but be very careful don't let your yellow touch the uh, purple because if your yellow touch the purple it's going to be a very ugly color and then see how long i've been using losing this uh, magic mushroom and uh, the tip is still so soft i wish people can touch it because the the quality is really good. Now I'm going to use the green again, and I'm going to just be very careful because uh, I don't want it too dark. In the middle, I'm going to just draw in a little circle. Look at my green. I think that's pretty good already, and then I only use this three color, uh, four color, but I want to add a little bit magenta color to my purple so let's grab one rose i think this color will do let's see what it look like so remember those magic mushrooms when you blending the color together they will they will blending the color again when you do the light blue and then you add darker uh pink or purple they will they will create a new color. So let's do again and look how pretty it is. Look at this corner. Okay, I'm going to do a comparison. See this uh, corner now, okay? And then let's do from this corner. Not too much. Just want to give a little bit magenta color. Okay. Good. Yeah, and those are just uh, the paper one. If you want to add a little bit more blue, you can do that too. So that's uh, all the color I got it. And I think uh, that's enough. That's uh, put away and we are going to remove my stencil. And then we are almost done. Let's take this one away. This one away. Yeah. There you go here. Okay, make sure my hand is clean. That's look like. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Okay, and I'm gonna trimming it. So going to trimming this one. I like a large car. I don't like a small car. So usually I uh, always working like a five by seven longer cut so this is uh, we're going to just uh, trimming this one okay this one i think this one is like a five by five okay so here is my foundation color my foundation car and this is going to be 4.5 4.5 let me see do this and then uh which direction is it good i think that will do so 4.5 okay 
So here is going to be my one side. And then this is strip. Why don't we use that? We're going to use that too. Or if we, this one, I think uh, is not going to line up. Is it? Ooh, no. So I'm going to just uh, kind of give a little bit gap here. This one, because the line, oh, it kind of like changed the direction. I think kind of kind of cool, but this one, it doesn't really change the direction, but it doesn't matter. It's good, but I'm going to show you one more trick. So I'm going to cut the four and a half. Okay, that's good. And I am going to bring my blue impact back. I'm kind of going to make uh, my outline a little bit darker so that way it uh, just uh, looks better, kind of give it a little bit border like this. Okay, this one, same thing, just a little bit more. So that's just one way, instead of uh, you use a stamp image, you can use a stencil. And I'm sure everybody get a lot of a stencil. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's my background. Okay, the next, I already have my, this uh, acetate die cut already so I'm gonna do that and then I have uh, my those die cut ready let me just pull this one away okay and then we are going to use the or tap die so the tap die is here okay so the tap die we are going to just I want to have my hummingbird kind of flying through the jar in and out or you can do the um, butterfly you like but i think butterfly probably a little bit too big so it's going to cut your flower unless you do the vertical so but it's just the idea you do whatever you like so you kind of using your um jar to make uh, oh that's do this one first okay we are going to glue this one on top but but uh, look my polo tie it doesn't have any glue mark, right? So what did I do is I use this my sticker maker with this um, stick and spack, stick, stick, sticky and the spack. Okay, I want to glue this one on top of my, I want to glue this piece of, How to say that? I want to glue this one right here. So the glue has to be on the flower. So when I put this way, I do this way. Okay. And then because of those glue are little tiny dots, they don't really show. And uh, good. Whoops. Okay, they don't really show, you cannot see any glue dots, right? And then I'm going to just uh, put here, okay. See, no glue, nothing. And especially uh, if you want to, you know, you can kind of raising up and if you want your hummingbird go under the flower, they can do that too. Okay. Now let's move to the next. The next we're going to do the die cut. So I am going to make sure where I'm going to die cut it, right? So here is kind of like my jar here. So I'm going to cut around uh, here, okay? And then I already show in my last few videos what is the best way to hiding your um, sliding tab area. So let's do the die cut first. Okay, and then before you remove your tape, you are going to use the double side tape to put the glue on your tab. 
So that will help you to get a perfectly lined up, okay? If you have a problem to use the um, the runner, just put a little bit glue. Okay, then put the pin back. Ooh. Ooh, need the reading glass. Okay, so now you can see my cut. I have a glue there. And then I'm going to mounting on that top. Okay. And then after you find the right place, you can remove your die cut. That's how you can perfectly line up that tab. Okay. So that's to do this way. Okay. And then the next I have my acetate. I already pre-cut my acetate. Where did my acetate go again? Hmm. Okay, let's put this one here. Let's put this one here. Let's put this here. Oh! Acetate is here. Okay, my acetate is here. Okay, so you're going to just uh, kind of put your acetate right there, right? And then you can glue this one in, but you got to make sure you use a very, very thin tape because you don't want to um, disturb your that piece of acetate. Okay, so let's do this. Let me bring a little bit closer. Okay, so see my tape is very, very fine. I don't want to disturb my my acetate when I sliding. Right, make sense? So you can kind of put your acetate there and then put uh, the other piece under. This is a 1 16 inches uh, double side tape. Okay. I don't really need a foam tape to go. I don't need a foam tape. So, but just in case, you can just put your acetate there, right? And then flip over. Okay. Just in case, we're going to secure your acetate before we glue back. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a good idea. I read, I'm always looking for my acetate because they are seeing true, but it's a good idea. Yeah, next time I'm going to just glue it. Okay. There you go. So I kind of secure my acetate and then now I am going to just follow that tab. Make sure Okay, so be careful, don't pulling your your acetate yet because, uh, well, even pulling is okay. Let's just remove the tape here. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And I have one more piece here. Okay, same thing, you can put on top of your acetate, you kind of actually holding the acetate, but in the back, when you put your um, double side tape, okay, only put it on the very top because you don't want to um, put the tape on top of your acetate. That way you won't be able to pull in your acetate anymore. Okay, let's do this. So there you go. I think it's good. Ooh, too long. Let's do this. Okay. This is my this piece too long. No, it's good. Okay. So ooh, my acetate is a uh, no, it's good. See, you have to make sure that your acetate can pull in. Um even you accidentally pick it up, I think uh, you won't have a problem. You can still put it back. Okay, and then now we are going to need the um, foam tape. And then when you put the foam tape, don't put any foam tape on the top because we have a hummingbird flying through, right? Just uh, put the whole foam tape on the bottom, the place that can hold in this piece. That will work. Okay, like this. Oh, I think... 
that's put a hummingbird first. So I had my first hummingbird made without the border. And then I, um, when I make my prototype, I find my hummingbird doesn't really pop out. So that's why I, um, I cut the other piece and then give a kind of shadow in the back. But you choose what you like. So I'm going to just use uh, this uh, piece and then kind of lifting my hummingbird. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. So how's everybody doing? Ready to go to bed? Yeah, it's uh, almost 10. Okay, so I'm going to put my hummingbird. Oh, did I put, oh, sorry. I don't need the, I don't need the phone tape. I need the phone tape for the under. Okay, so I'm going to put my hummingbird here. Or you can just, uh, let me put a little bit glue on the tiny bit here. Or you can just uh, using your outline die cut to cut like that. But I found a different, you know, when you do the two layering or just a, like a die cut with a white border, they looks different. So you do what you like. Okay, and then we are going to just, uh, my acetate is still insert inside, right? Make sure your acetate can move like this. And then I am going to put the uh, uh, foam tape there. And then I'm going to glue my hummingbird. Once when you glue the hummingbird, you're okay because uh, because the hummingbird is kind of like your stopper. So it's not going to get out. Oops. Need more tape over there. So I'm going to put the more tape here. Yeah, so just make sure. I'm going to put a little bit tape here. Make sure your hummingbird, I think I bottom part is kind of I shouldn't put the, oh, here is the problem. Okay, I shouldn't put the, this tape here. I should put the tape a little bit lower. Okay, see? Always uh, fix your trouble, like an issue, when you have a sound issue happen, just uh, try to fix it. So I made a mistake, I put uh, my tape a little bit lower, so my acetate is kind of, um, cut the, uh, touch that tape, um, the double side tape. So that's why my hummingbird cannot gliding smoothly. So let's do this. It should be fine this way. Okay, make sure. Okay, now it's better. And then here, I think this piece, it should be fine. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to put my hummingbird, and then your hummingbird is the stopper, so. Okay, like this. Okay, and then, well, actually my prototype, because uh, when I was creating the other two uh, video, I have a pulling tab, and this pulling tab is kind of outside of the picture. So um, when if you want to send the, uh, like a five by seven. So the car is actually bigger than the envelope because that pull, pulling tab. So this car, I actually put my pulling tab on top of this car. So this way I can send us like a five by seven. So you do whatever you like, do adjustment. And then this one, so I'm going to just uh, trimming it. And then I have a one tab I already create that green tab. Okay, that's the finish that one first. So we're gonna just trim in here. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover with the tab, right? And then here we can just uh, 
cut it out is your hummingbird is not going to off the reel because the, the hummingbird is actually a stopper so it will stop your hummingbird to get out and then now I can put my jar here but before we do that you can see my background the color is too light actually my flower is not pop out so I had the same problem when I created my prototype so we're going to fix it how we're going to fix it I am going to use the uh, orange orange is a good color or kind of like a pottery color I think orange is better. Okay, and then I'm going to do an orange color. And then we're going to make actually this part a little bit darker. So that way when I put my flower on top, my flower can show better. Because now the color is pretty much the same. So it doesn't really show. So pick up some color. Okay, always uh, testing a little bit before we... Okay, we don't want it too much. Okay, just remove a little bit color. Okay, and then stop on the middle. We call it just uh, draw a little circle. Good night, Suzanne. Okay, so just uh, do a little bit color here. And then now, let's see. See, now my flower, because I have some shadow, right? So now my flower is the uh, much pop out. That's just like some small stuff here. Okay, and then now we put it back. We're going to glue it. And then see my hummingbird. Oh, you can change your hummingbird to different color. Got to make sure they glue nicely. Okay, like these two, two, two. Okay, so see this hummingbird, we got to make sure we glue nicely. Okay, otherwise when you pull pulling it is going to cut with your flower that's just to make sure here is a little bit yeah now it's a little bit better okay there you go okay so my acetate is a little bit too soft you can actually use the two sheets so this hummingbird you know See, this is the problem. We have to use that little sticker maker to make sure they are completely covered the glue. Otherwise, when we pull in a little piece, is going to stop get caught with your background. Okay, like this. A little bit on the beak here. I like at least this sticker maker. I found out it's very useful. Like this. Well, this is a, a great idea. So everybody, well, I'm looking forward to see everybody's project. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so now... Okay, hopefully it can stop her, stop the hummingbird. Okay, here. Should go be, should go smoothly. There you go. Yeah, so it doesn't get it cut anymore because that's small pieces over there. Choo, 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 choo. Okay. So, okay. Or if you want it, you can put some phone tape. I didn't put a lot of tape, so kind of not really sturdy. Okay, and then I have my butterfly here, and then we just, uh, you know, use the, a little bit glue. Put my butterfly here. Or you can use your, you can put in your butterflies too, any way you like. Let's put uh, my butterfly here. Where did my butterfly go? Okay, and then I have a, a tab there. Okay, and then you can kind of like a holding. Like this. 
And then the top, I have a piece that I already created, but I don't know where did I go. So I have at least uh, got it from Longfeng, and then they have uh, all the small one. You can do the push me, sliding me, press me, open me. So I think that's uh, kind of useful. And uh, where did that little tab go? Okay, so let's do these. This is a uh, good and uh, just a uh, folding in the half. I made one and it disappear. some shopping list I think Sunday will be a good day to press your place your order because uh, it is going to be 20 plus 10 percent off the store is going to have a 20 percent off automatic automatically you don't need a coupon code but uh, watch the live stream on Sunday at uh, two o'clock and in the video I am going to provide the other 10 percent coupon code so you will get a 30% off discount total. <laughs> yeah, so when I was going to, you know, I promised that when we reach 5,000, I will do a great promotion, but because we had our new design, right? Release, and then didn't want to put you guys in the trouble. That's why we kind of, yeah, Susie, the material list is already on. Check it out. I already listed, so just click the butterfly kisses. It should be there. Okay, I think this one is actually pretty cute. Is useful. So I kind of create a tab. Let's move a butterfly a little bit lower. And then, put uh, this tab. So this tab is instead of uh, outside of the paper, I actually put on the front. So that way this uh, car is a five by seven. I think my acetate is a little bit too soft. So, okay, and then now I'm going to just mount it Okay, like this. And then remember, joining me on Sunday, I am going to give a $250 gift certificate away. Anybody can be a winner. Somebody sent me a lot of message. Oh my God, who is that? It must be my auntie. <laughs> it's like a non-stop. Okay, I think my acetate next time going to maybe two sheets. My acetate is a little bit too soft, so it's kind of bended. Okay, but you can reinforce by using two two pieces of acetate, so that way they can move uh, much uh, like a you don't have because it's kind of soft. Yeah, so that's today's video, and I'm going to give one of the car away and uh, one of the tab okay hi hi Tom. okay so that's today's video and if you join us late you can watch the replay and uh, i don't think so i'm going to have any video before sunday anymore i'm going to see you guys on sunday at two o'clock and then before you go i'm going to choose two winner one winner will get this car and uh, the winner for the previous previous video I already sent your price out. Okay, so let's just clean my table a little bit. Which one you guys like the best? The the blue one or the the orange one? So let's just bring this one. Okay, so hello PJB Stamper. Hi Susan. Okay, so that's a 
choose the all winners now. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, and then I think at the least moment, uh, we have uh, some promotion running. Not promotion. Some special prices. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna working on the the detail. Okay, so that's just the uh, put it down. Okay, I am going to choose the two winner. The first winner is going to get these die cards. The last one. They are not uh, available anymore. I thought I have a lot in the stock, but actually I don't have it. So if you don't have it, you can just use the ruler and the craft knife. Just cut the tab yourself. Okay. And uh, so that way you can make it any kind of slider card you like. Just uh, learning the technique and uh, try on your own project. So the first winner is going to get this one. And the second winner is going to get one of this card. Um, I am giving away all the cards I create in my video. Otherwise, I'm going to end up have a lot of the cards. So what's the question today? I am oh now I found my tab. I was looking for. I did create one, and I couldn't find it, and now it pop out. So no, don't we? Ch the plane change. We are not doing the Zoom anymore. We are doing the live stream. So you can just join us on Sunday at two. I was the. Uh, Thinking to doing the Zoom, but uh, I found out it's a little bit too complicated because every time when somebody talk, they will bring my screen out of the computer. So it's going to kind of like a disturb the processing. So I have decided that we, I'm not going to do the Zoom on Sunday. We are going to do just a live stream, just like this. Yeah. So don't worry if you don't have a Zoom account, you just uh, visit the YouTube channel and that's it. Okay. So, ready for the questions. <laughs> Let me think about the... Anybody ready for the questions? Question, question, question. Okay, okay, so if you want to win one of the items, first of all, make sure you are on the live chat, not ch top chat. If you're on the top chat, you are going to delay for a few seconds, so that way, by the time you see, you answer your answer, somebody already won. Okay, make sure your setting is the live chat. Okay. So first question, and then this is for the for the um, person who hasn't win for the past one month. So Everett, you cannot win because I already sent you two cards. First card, you were so generous to give your gift to somebody. So that's kind of a surprise gift from me. So Don also won already. Okay. So Shelly, yeah, you was uh, mentioning last time uh, you didn't um, set up the live chat. So I just give a few more seconds, make sure everybody is ready. And uh, I'm going to give you the first gift. Uh, sorry, not first, uh, yeah, first question. The first question, the first winner is going to get this one. And the ones so when you uh, win this item, make sure you send me an email with your shipping address. Okay, first question. Which other language Lisa is learning? Now, I have been mentioning in my videos, I am learning the other language. Which language Lisa is learning online now? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta da ta da Yeah! Mira, you won! Yes, it Susan, right? So, Mira, 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 Susan, I know you're Susan. Yes, you are the winner. And uh, let me write it down. I don't think so. You need to send me your email the address. I think I, I can find your address. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so Mira is winning. So, congratulations. You 
won this top die, the last one. I don't have it anymore. Where did it go? Okay, ESL. Okay. Second question. Yeah, very welcome. I don't need your address, uh, so I am going to send it to you tomorrow. Second, second question. What is the second question? Uh, okay. Second question is going to be so easy. Ready? Which combos that we are going to use for Sunday at two o'clock uh, play with Lisa? What's the name of the combos combo set? The second winner is going to win one of the car. By the way, v Vivian, congratulations. So, uh, Vivian, can you send me your shipping address? Vivian, Vivian, go, 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 but. Hey, so Vivian, do you like orange or you like blue? Okay, you can choose which one you like. B U T T Cobot. Vivian Vivian Cobot, do you like uh, orange or you like uh, blue? Okay, I am going to send it to you. Which one? Orange. Okay, orange is it? Okay, so Thank you so much for joining me for this last minute live stream and uh, there is uh, no videos uh, coming until Sunday and uh, remember Sunday is going to be exactly like this. It's going to be the YouTube live stream. It's not the Zoom anymore. If you can make it, join me. Um, I already placed the, um, put the material list uh, on the website. Uh, I think uh, we are going to one after each one project. I'm not sure you have enough time to work uh, on your own project. So uh, we just want to have fun, get together and uh, chatting. Once when you have your project done, you can post on the Local Kings uh, YouTube Facebook page and I can see what you do with uh, Butterfly Kisses. And then remember, you will get a 10% um, extra coupon code on Sunday uh, during the live stream video and it's going to be those 10% extra discount is only good for 48 hours so you have to watch that live stream uh, video to be able to get that 10% off a coupon code so you're going to get a 20 plus 10% that's 30% off is a very very good deal if you didn't get a chance to order your um, 2021's new design I have a I'm um, showing a lot of video what you can do with those uh, um, new image is it so much fun to play so make sure check it out and uh, just click the item there is a lot of a sample card um, helping you to choose uh, your favorite set if you don't have a butterfly cases uh, um, combo set it will be fine and uh, you can use your own stamp set the purpose is about the having fun and the share with the, all the awesome idea that i know it's not necessary to purchase the butterfly kisses um combo set you can use whatever you like if you do have uh, some um shopping list and then just remember so two o'clock is a pacific time is in the vancouver time so make sure it's uh, but uh, i am sure you can still watch the replay because that coupon code is going to be in the video and then remember that's only 48 um, hours available available for that 10% extra coupon code. So if you have any question, feel free to send me an email, let me know and uh, um, I will choose two winners for $50 uh, gift certificate. Maybe I'm going to draw some extra stuff in, so we will see. Okay, so that's everything for today. It's almost 10 o'clock in the Easter time. I think time for you to go to bed and I just wish everybody have a wonderful evening and I am going to see you on Sunday. And then wish me luck for my digital planner and the ones when I'm done with my digital planner, I will definitely share with all of you and it's going to be free. Okay, thank you so much. This is Lisa from Local King Robert Stamp. See you next time. Bye. Good night. Oh, 
Uh, Vivian, it's two, uh, it's two o'clock. I think it's two o'clock, right? Oh, it's two o'clock, right? Make sure it's two o'clock Pacific time. It's not three, it's two. Mm, let me check. I think it's two. Check the website. I think it's two o'clock. Well, good night. Bye, guys. See you on Sunday. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.